Salute to Knicks Nation, CP the Franchise here. You know, a lot of you guys DM me and, and let me know how much Knicks Fan TV means to you, how much it's gotten you through a tough time, especially during the pandemic. Some of you even DM me and said that you, you were depressed, you were going through a lot of anxiety, and the show really helped you get through a, a tough spot in your life. And so regardless of if, if you've been clinically diagnosed with depression or anxiety, or you're just somebody who's just looking to get your life back on the right track, therapy can really give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. And that's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more accessible and more affordable. And that's very important because in today's day and age, it's very difficult to find a therapy that you like in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote, and by filling out a simple questionnaire and a couple of questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. Try it out using the link below. That's betterhelp.com slash KnicksFanTV, and they will give you $10 off your first month. And because finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, sometimes it can be hard, and sometimes you pick one that you don't like, have no fear because because with BetterHelp, you can switch and find the therapist that works best for you without stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. And as I said before, it doesn't mean that you've got something wrong with you. It just means that you could be looking to get your life back on track. I've taken therapy before, and it's helped me in droves in terms of getting my life in order and, and getting back on the right track. So I highly recommend it. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the video description or just go to betterhelp.com slash KnicksFanTV for $10 off your first month. Knicks Nation. Friday night Knicks. Knicks defeat the Wizards. It's the postgame show. Knicks went on the road 120 to 99. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jake Asman. Filling in for the guys tonight. First time hosting the postgame show for a game that actually counts. And how about it? It's a playing tournament game and the Knicks when they play in tournament game for the first time in franchise history. I think the biggest takeaway from the game is Jalen Brunson is the greatest play in tournament player of all time. And that's the post game show. I'm just kidding. But we got a lot to talk about. Obviously, some storylines from this game. Knicks winning a game where they're down two starters. No R.J. Barrett tonight. No Quentin Grimes. And really no problem outside of probably the last three minutes of the first half. And then I would say, you know, that third quarter, Washington cut it within five, and then down the stretch, the Knicks did what they were supposed to do, be the better team and beat up on a Wizards team that ended the game tonight at two and nine. I thought Julius Randle had some nice moments in this one. Obviously, Emmanuel quickly gave you 20 plus points off the bench. He's well on his way to maybe being the top dog in franchise history with points off the bench as they showed that graphic tonight. Quickly tonight, uh, really continued his dominance, continued playing well uh, near his home. He 33 minutes, 10 of 18 from the floor, finished with 27, and, and really just exploded down the stretch. I think he had 14 in the fourth quarter. So some, some takeaways from this game for sure. I'll start with Brunson, right? I mean, uh, Jalen Brunson probably had the easiest 32 you'll see. So smooth, hit some big shots late in the game, which he always does. And the Knicks as a whole tonight, collectively, 16 three-pointers, which is just as good as it gets. He had 37 points off the bench. Obviously, a lot of that was Emmanuel quickly. But I think if you're a Knicks fan, you take the win, and you don't apologize for it. It got a little dicey, as I mentioned in the third, and you move on. Uh, a, lot, a lot of good from this game. You know, some interesting storylines, though, that I want to address now that you kind of got the feel for how this one went with a Knicks 120-99 to win in Washington. One, the Wizards court, an abomination. These courts are absolute trash. At least most of them are for the tournament. So I'm glad the Knicks had come in. Shout out to all the Knicks fans who were there. That let's go Knicks chance uh, at the end of the fourth quarter was loud. So the Knicks Nick, Nick, Nick fan... Obviously well represented in D.C. tonight. But some of the other things that, to me, that stood out. Uh, Dante DiVin, uh, DiVincenzo in the starting lineup. He played well tonight. Now, the, the plus-minus was only, I think, plus two for the game. But the eye test told me that DiVincenzo played well in this game, especially in the first quarter, starting off with some big threes. I think he had four threes, if by my count, uh, in the first quarter tonight. He finished four of eight, as you see the graphic there on the screen. Uh, from from three-point range, finished with 14 points. I wonder if the conversation, and we'll take your calls on this, Knicks fans, and we'll read your Super Chats as well, if the conversation's going to be, do the Knicks have their starting lineup with DiVincenzo in it? 
right? I mean, the Knicks starting lineup tonight was Brunson, DiVincenzo. They started Hart with RJ obviously out. Randall and Mitchell Robinson, who I thought at times played very well tonight. So at starting five going into the game tonight, it barely played with one another. And they started the game pretty well. Knicks got off to a good start in this game. It looked like they were going to blow them out. And then, obviously, they allowed Washington to chip away. At one point, it was 20 points in the second quarter. Washington caught it at halftime. The Knicks led by nine. It got to five in the third quarter. But that starting lineup, uh, I mean, you give credit to the Knicks down two starters handling their business, getting the win. I wonder if there's going to be more of a conversation, though, especially if R.J. Barrett is out for another night dealing with the migraines or how long the, you know, they, they, they're saying Grimes is day to day. How long is that? What does that really mean? Right. Aren't we all day to day? So we'll see. But I think it's an interesting conversation if we potentially want to see more DiVincenzo in the starting lineup and would Grimes come off the bench. So that's certainly something that I'm looking at. We'll see what the starting five will be tomorrow, second night of a back to back. And then the other thing that stood out, uh, Evan Fournier actually got an opportunity to play tonight for the first time in the regular season. And he, the dude thought he was the main character at times in this game. I mean, Fournier, look, I get it. First game, he's going to be a little rusty. The dude's jacking up three-pointer after three-pointer. He didn't look good. I understand. Probably a little rusty. But still, if Evan Fournier is trying to crack the lineup and get you know get some regular playing time here, uh, his performance tonight didn't exactly scream, yep, that guy definitely needs more minutes. Fournier tonight, one of six in 16 minutes. He was 0 for 4 from three. He had one rebound. One assist, one steal. He was a plus six. So uh, not exactly the Evan Fournier show tonight for the Knicks in D.C. Nevertheless, Knicks pick up the win. You know, first first of a of, of a back-to-back. So you don't apologize for it. And look, the Knicks, who had a gauntlet of a schedule to start the year, are now two games over 500. And the Knicks, you know, we were down two guys today, just like we are today in KFTV. And and just like you're holding it down for us today, I'm going to tell you, man, everybody else held it down. Dante DiVincenzo held it down. Manuel quickly held it down. Uh, Josh Hart held it down. I love what I'm seeing out there, man. I just want these guys just to keep it up right now, man. It was a beautiful game. We've seen a lot of good things. I'm seeing a lot of different things. You've seen quick passing the ball up a lot faster when you, when he sees Randall coming downhill. So with little stuff like that, man, we is is the eye test for me. It's just the little stuff. Us feeding Mitch down, like it's, it's the little stuff where you see these guys trusting each other, man. It was a great game, great game, man. Last year, these were the games that were so tough for us that we were, you know, barely winning. And and to be a contender is to take these games and take advantage of these games. These games that we're supposed to win, we're supposed to win these games. Blow them out, man. You know? So I'm just, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm, I love seeing it. You guys get your thumbs up right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the sponsor. Shout out Manscaped. You're still balling. You know, let's go, guys, man. You know what time. Let's be hyped about this. I don't want to hear about no trades. Let's let's stay <laughs> packed down until about January, February, if before the trade deadline. See where we want to prove at. Until then, let's let, let this team chill out right now, man. We can't let go of quickly. Like he's too good. He's too important to us. Like whatever we need to do, if we need to eat the poison pill, I think it's it's worth it because you know he's. He's going to be a great player for a long time. And even if he can't get a starter's minutes, I mean, look at a player like, you know, Hall of Famer Manu Ginobili. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. But, um, you know, someone who can be the bench leader for years on end, I think quickly in that role would be more beneficial to us than Grimes and DiVincenzo. You know what I mean? Even though I, I like those players as well. But you got to trade Fournier to make room to sign quick, quickly in the offseason. And yeah, I mean, good win. We're a good team and the good teams beat the bad teams. So let's do it again tomorrow against Charlotte and then have um, a nice three game win streak going into a good game in Minnesota. But um, yeah, thank you for taking my call. And, uh, you know, it's only a matter of time, even though Mitch is having a great start until they start calling about trading for Mo Bamba. So (laughs) let's look forward to that, man. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great night. Let's go, Knicks. And obviously, let's keep it rolling tomorrow. Let's keep this win streak rolling against the Hornets tomorrow night. So long, everyone. Jake Asman saying, see ya.